jobless rate here in our region is a little over 7%, which means that tens of thousands of our neighbors are actually out there looking for work. And yet we know there are more than 14,000 open jobs in just the 10 counties of southwestern Pennsylvania. Employers often maintain that there's a skills mismatch, that the people looking for work don't have the skills that the employers need for the open jobs. But there's another oft-cited issue among employers, and that's that too many otherwise qualified workers can't pass a drug test. It's a bigger problem than many of us think, uh, so much so that Gateway Rehab has just built a brand new facility to deal with just part of it. Neil Capretto is medical director at Gateway Rehab. Welcome, good to see you. Nice to be here today, thank you. Yeah, this is actually uh, pretty stunning. I think it would surprise a lot of folks that, uh, that uh, dr this, this, this issue around drug abuse in the region has really been growing in recent years. It's been a growing problem. Right now in Western Pennsylvania, uh, we have more people addicted to narcotic prescription medications and heroin than at any time in our history. Uh, the CDC has declared prescription a drug abuse a national epidemic. We in Western Pennsylvania were one of the first areas hit hardest starting about 10 years ago and it's really picked up in, in recent years. And uh, of people over age 21 who are drug abusers, 70 percent are already in the workforce and many people are having trouble getting drugs getting jobs, excuse me, because they can't pass the drug screen. Well, people don't realize because the drug screening is becoming more and more commonplace, especially in manufacturing and some right. of these technical fields. I think about the energy industry and all the growth that's happening here, but they can't afford people to not be totally on their game when they're working on these sites. Absolutely. If a person, an employee who has a drug problem is about 10 times more likely to be absent from work, they, their medical costs may be triple, they're more likely to be injured in an accident, up to five times more likely, uh, they're a third less productive, uh, and, and they just cause more problems and cost the employee, uh, you know, the employer money and uh, resources. They're, uh, again, less productive. In, in uh, Columbiana County, outside of Youngstown, with the, with the drilling industry, uh, in the Youngstown paper it was reported that trying to find unskilled workers, nine out of 10 could not pass the drug screen. Of skilled workers, two out of three could not pass it. Wow, that's, skilled that, that's workers. That's incredible. And, and you say it started really in the last 10 years, but our region more than other places, that surprises me a lot. Well, a, a lot of it had to do with our demographics. We had an older uh, population, a working class population, where there was a need for pain. We had a big emphasis on uh, doctors uh, looking for and trying to treat pain better. The good news is, we did, we're doing a better job with that. The bad news is there's skyrocketing pre pre prescriptions of opioids that many of it got into the wrong hands. Uh, prescriptions like oxycodone from like 98 to 2005 went up over 700%. And a lot of this unfortunately is on the streets and it is in every community. Uh, we, you know, we've had a several hundred percent increase in our detox unit of people coming in of all walks of life, professional, um, middle, upper middle class uh, people addicted to uh, prescription opioids and heroin. And a lot is the young group. This is, a, the, the, this is our future. A lot of these are, are you know, the 18 to 21 to 24 group, uh, they are having disproportional higher rates and there, and there are people having trouble finding jobs. Well, I wonder, does it make it easier to get started down this path if it's just something you find in your parents' medicine cabinet? Right. Or maybe it's something mom or dad took because they had to have knee surgery or, or, or whatever else. Yeah, I mean, people should get, receive whatever medicine they need for legitimate medical causes. But we, we advise people, if you no longer need that prescription, get rid of it. If you do need it, keep it secure. Treat it like it's a loaded gun because uh, people do any, they're, they're, people go to real estate open houses every Sunday to, to raid medicine cabinets. They go in their friends, their families, they take from their parents, their grandparents. We set a record in Allegheny County uh, last year, 261 drug overdose deaths. You know, about 70% of those involve legal prescription medications. More people are dying in Allegheny County and Western Pennsylvania from drug overdose deaths than traffic fatalities and homicides put together. Uh, and many people don't aren't even aware of the scope of the problem. Just sound, well, and it sounds like everybody's got to play a part in this. Number one, if you wind up on painkillers, be careful. It sounds like doctors have to be a little smarter doctors about how they write to, these scripts. Right. right. And oh, doctors absolutely have to be uh, um, more wise about that. And, and, and doctors are doing a better job. I mean, most doctors are responsible. They try to do a good job. We have a few what I call rogue doctors that are just running prescription mills usually hopefully sooner or later they, they get uh, caught and are, are, and are stopped. Uh, 
But the medical field is trying to be more responsible. Uh, anybody who's doing pain medicine today, any good pain medicine realizes they have to understand pain and addiction at the same time mm -hmm. to safely and effectively treat pain. Only a few seconds left, but it, so how does the new facility that Gateway just opened fit into all of this? Well, it, it offers an opportunity to, for people who have a problem to get help, especially at a young age. You know, it's easier to stop, you know, treat cancer at stage one than at stage four. With people with addiction, when it goes on for decades and, and, and decades, it's harder to stop. If we can reach people who early on who are having a problem as an adolescent or a young adult, we can have a much a better impact on the whole trajectory of their life. Not only does that help that individual, but that's a great help to society in general. Well, it is indeed, especially here, because given our own demographics and the future economic prospects, we need every able-bodied person, skilled person we can right. who's ready to work. Right. But there is hope. I mean, if you can't pass a drug test for a job, that may be the least of your problems. You may have a problem that may cost you your life. So. Mm seek help. All right, Dr. Neil Capretto, sure. Medical Director of Gateway Rehab, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.